everybody, this is TNT Partner here. I thought this would be a good video idea. What do you do with your old smartphones? Here's some ideas from the news channel. And then I'll just give my thoughts. A groundworks company. Talking about electronic devices have used the iPhone as a guidepost that came out 15 years ago. So by now, you probably have at least one old smartphone or tablet lying around somewhere gathering dust. Even if they still work, you won't get much if you try to sell them. Before you toss them aside or send them off to be recycled, our consumer technology reporter Jamie Tucker shows they can be put to good use in your home. Not long ago, you spent a lot of money on a smartphone like these, and now they're just sitting around gathering dust, can't do anything with them. Yes, you can, and they can actually save you money. Digital picture frames are pricey, but an old iPad you're not using is even better. Open the Photos app and create a new shared album. We'll call it Frame. Add all the photos you want to be displayed into that shared album, and then tap on the name of that album, and then tap on the three dots in the top right corner to select Slideshow. Make sure to turn on Repeat, and you've got a digital frame you didn't know you had. Plus, other people can add photos to that shared album from their phone. Old smartphones make fine TV remotes. If you've got a Roku, Fire Stick, or Apple TV, install that app on the old phone. The apps are more functional and easier to use than the remote that came with the box. Keep the old phone connected to a charger. You'll never lose the original remote in the couch cushions again. Old iPads also make good e-readers. By installing the Kindle app, it's even better than a Kindle, really, if you're reading something with color photos like a magazine. And smartphones make great security cameras. The apps ManyThing and Alfred turn old iPhones and Android devices into cameras that will send you a notification and pictures if it's triggered by motion. Make sure the phone is connected to a charger, prop it up toward a door or a window, and boom, a security camera you didn't know you had. The only caveat is some of these apps won't work on really old phones like the iPhone 4 because the operating system can't be updated. But if you have a game downloaded on that old phone, you still should be able to play it provided you can remember your password. You have changed your password since then, right? That's what the tech. I'm Jamie Tucker. A recent survey by found the average American has about $200 worth of old devices they're not using. Don't know who did the survey, but that's what they found. Depending on the age of the smartphone, carriers might offer you $25 in trade-in value. Older phones, though, have no dollar value. They'll need to be recycled or turned into a doorstop. Today, Mark... Hi, right, everybody. had my thoughts on this, too, and... I'll just say this. I don't spend that much on my cell phone. The cell phone I've had is about two years. I only spent 40 bucks and bought it directly from the company on eBay. Of course, net 10. Okay. And I thought this would be some good ideas to watch you do with your, with your, your old smartphones. And I hope that will come in handy for you guys. Ah, right, this is Tina Cheapar. Hit that like button. Comment down below. Subscribe, subscribe to the channel. Do all that crazy stuff. Happy, uh, Have a good Friday, everybody. Happy Easter. Until the next video, bye everybody.